Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day. So, yesterday was a bad day for chess for me. <laughs> I lost like, I, th I think I ended up playing six or seven games and I only won one of them. So let's hope today goes better. My blitz games did go better. They weren't perfect, but you know, that's just how warm-ups are. Sometimes you start off slow, but I, you know, I played pretty well. All right, I'm feeling nervous, I have to say. I have to admit, since I had a bad day yesterday and now we're seeing some weird stuff that I'm unfamiliar with, it's like, <laughs> what am I walking into? So immediate thought is I can probably play E4 instead of sticking to the traditional London. I kind of have a feeling he's going to either Fianchetto or Transpose into normal. So let's play c4 with the idea of bringing our knight out quickly. Okay. That's that's fine. It's a good move even. Hmm. That's interesting. Let's defend this pawn. If he takes, we develop. All right, I'm going to take because I can. Oh, interesting. What? He dropped a pawn just now. Can I take that pawn? I don't see any reason why I can't. Maybe maybe I'm wrong, but for instance, because because my pawn is controlling that square, so worst comes to worst, is that true? Is that worst comes to worst? I don't know. I can attack his queen. Here, let's add another defender to this square. I kind of want to put my bishop here, you guys. Why is that? What is appealing to me? Let me think. I can pin the knight. Doesn't do much. I think I want to just get ready and castle. Would it make sense to go here? I don't see why not. What is going on here? We're just a pawn up. I mean, not much more to be said. If I bring my bishop here, the point would be to prevent these pawns from marching. That's just a free pawn. I have three attackers. Black has two defenders. So the important question is, how do we take? I'm going to say probably knight because it comes with an attack. So if I take, oh guys, what happens if we kick the queen out first? Attack the queen. Let's say the queen goes here. Oh, see, yeah, that's not good. Then, then I'm being attacked. I'm gonna take with the knight. And if knight takes, we take. We're all defended. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Now, I need to get my queen over here, guys.
but it's defended by the knight. Dude, imagine if I went back like this. That would be crazy. Nah, let's just get out of there. Push the pawn, attack the queen. Seems like an idea. If he... Okay, he's hitting my pawn. Man, I want to go here, but of course that loses the queen. Do I care if he takes this pawn? Oh, I have a check. Let's do the check. That I don't think that can be bad. He cannot block with the bishop. He can block with the knight, but then I attack. Okay. Holy smokes. Okay. How do I... Oh. Hello. Hello there. Alternatively, I can go like this, get a double attack on the pawn, but he... And if he pushes it, he loses the rook. So if I go here, he has to defend like this. He obviously can't go there because of my bishop. Let's calculate this out. I'm going to take a minute. We've got plenty of time. Attack the pawn. If he blocks with the knight... There's got to be a way for me to get my queen over there. I kind of like this move because it attacks the knight. And then let's say the rook defends. Oh, wait. Yeah, sorry, that was the wrong. Did I draw the arrow to here? Yeah. Attack the knight. Rook defends. Actually, I could just trade off that knight so that I can get my queen here. <sighs> Ooh, he defends, I attack the queen. I don't, I don't really like that idea. Uh, actually, I like this idea, because I just realized if he defends, I get my queen in here. Attacking the rook and double attack on the knight. Okay. What is the problem with this? I don't see one. Hold on. I go here, he cannot take the pawn and threaten my, my bishop because I would win the rook with check. He's going to go here to defend the rook, I think. Then I just win a knight. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's getting a little dangerous. Because then he can attack me. Ooh. That's really nice. I, I want to go back to my other plan. So we're going to take... And whichever way he takes, I bring my queen here, we're threatening checkmate. Or wait, is this a trick? 
Look at this, guys. Attack the queen. Because if he takes, I win the rook with check. Attack the queen. If he attacks here... Then what do I do? I really like this idea. Take the knight. If rook takes, I go up here. He needs to go like that. I have another check. I'm going to go for it. We'll see what happens. I can't calculate it all. There's, there's too many moves. But now I go like this. And that's checkmate, guys. I think the only legal, or not legal, the only move, yep, he finds it. Check. Or do we do this check first? Check. He goes here. Check. He goes up. Check. He blocks. Oh, man, I don't think we're winning anything. Wait. Check. If he goes here, we check and we win an exchange at least. So check, he has to go here. And now we're threatening me. All right, I'm going to do it. He might go here because then he can attack my queen. That would be the only reason. And now we win an exchange. And now I can force a queen trade, I think. Check. Get the queens off the board, and we're up a single exchange. Now... Is that winning? Probably not. <laughs> Let's get everything on, on dark squares, I think. Uh-oh. Oh, this isn't good. Uh, what's going on here? Okay, that I'm not scared of. This pawn is pinned. Let's attack it. He does not have any checks. So the, the that guy is pinned. Oh my gosh, okay. I think I'm just going to trade everything off and push a pawn to victory, guys. That's probably the simplest game plan here, isn't it? Wait, 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 wait. He cannot move his bishop. Right? Here we go. He can't take, he loses a rook. And when I give this check, like he can't move either piece. They're, everything is pinned. All right, he gives up the bishop for some reason. Defend. Hmm.
Okay, let's get rid of our back rank issues. All right, we're gonna push this pawn for sure. Um, everything's defended. Oh gosh, wait, did I mess something up here? Check. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, I, I, we're going to get a queen. I don't think he can stop this now. Because, he, yeah, he's too far away. Cool. Well, dude, look at my opponent. He used less than the increment on every single turn. Holy smokes. He wants to keep playing. They say never resign. I say resign. <laughs> like, what's the point of this? What is the point? I ask you all. Everyone who leaves a comment saying never resign. Would you resign in this position? Be honest. Oh gosh, I hope he's not abandoning the game now. You know, I've been playing Blitz, and I've noticed a lot of people just abandoning the game these days, and it's so annoying. It's like, just hit the resign button. Because otherwise it takes chess.com like 30 seconds, sometimes a minute, before it detects that the game is abandoned. It's just not good sportsmanship. All right, guys, I don't know what he's doing, so I'm going to actually pause until he makes a move. If he's running down the clock, you guys don't have to sit through that with me. Hey, we only had to wait for two minutes, and then we get a resignation. Okay, quick game review. Probably not a whole lot to look at, but you never know. Okay. So this opening... Doesn't really have a name. Well, that's interesting. I should have brought my bishop back. Yep, computer likes the free pawn. It usually does. Not always, but usually. Oh, look at that. The computer likes the idea of attacking the queen. Just because we can. Again, attack the queen. Again, attack the queen. Again, attack the queen. <laughs> okay. Okay. So the computer is very happy here because we made a passed pawn. Yeah, that did turn out to be instrumental. It was, wasn't it this guy who we turned into a queen? Yeah, in the end. All right, this attack was a decent idea. F3 is better. Um, I don't really understand that. I guess the computer's ready to go in, into an end game and push pawns. That's my interpretation of that. But I get nervous pushing pawns when the queens are on the board. So here... Yeah, the computer's happy to get into an endgame with a passed pawn. It's plus seven. I, I'm i not as confident as the computer, obviously. But yeah, we're just going to start pushing pawns and crossing our fingers, I guess. But I really like this checkmate idea. Wait, what? Oh... Whoa, what? That's better? Just, but nothing changes. Oh, we trade off the bishop. That's what changed. Okay, we trade off the bishop. Jeez. Jeez. 
Oh, there's a free pawn. See, what did I say? When the computer sees a free pawn, usually it's the best move. That's so crazy. And now, not a single move until this one was the best move. But yeah, getting this pin, all of his pieces are tied together. Like, if he moves the king, he loses the bishop. If he moves the rook, he loses the bishop. If he moves the bishop, he loses the rook. That's a nightmare. And that's why it's plus 12, I guess. Okay, playing pretty well here, but yeah, after that it was very easy. I don't know why my opponent thought for two minutes, actually two and a half minutes based on this timestamp before resigning. Whatever. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that, and I will see you next time. Bye.